Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 80 summer for four so today guys I want to do a top five league recaps So we're gonna be recapping every single month at the end of the month and we're gonna recap what's going on in the top five leagues So remember guys, this is a way you guys can tell me your thoughts I can give you guys my quick thoughts and you know everything like that So what we're gonna do in the video is kind of like discuss about the top seven We'll quickly discuss about relegation and that's how we're gonna do we're not gonna discuss about every single team That will take too much time. I don't have that kind of time unfortunately so I'm just gonna discuss about my thoughts upon the um you know the european spots and relegation battles so like i said guys remember guys like and subscribe let's get in the habit of liking this video i know many people watch this video and keep forgetting to like so once you click on my video just immediately like it just get in the habit of liking the video even if you don't fully agree with my message just still like it you know it still helps the channel grow and obviously guys you know it's really good for the algorithm so anyways let's start with the first topic which we have here guys it is uh e epl guys epl so guys, I think it's very obvious. Manchester are going to win this league. It's in, it's inevitable. Four in a row is happening. EPL fans, you have to accept that Pep Guardiola is going to do four in a row. Now, what's the interesting thing is how the, how is the sixth, second through seventh going to pan out? Because for me, West Ham is putting a good shot. West Ham have an outside chance to get top seven. Do I think they're going to get top seven? I don't think so. I think the Europa League will be too much. I think the Europa League will cause difficulties and i think that will really be difficult for them to balance the europa league and the premier league now you know now if they do it shout out to them that would be an incredible achievement because west ham have made some great business you know bringing in edson alvarez bringing in kudos so they are finally bringing in some reinforcements it's just that my issue with west ham is just how are they going to balance both the europa league and the premier league tottenham hotspur man they have impressed is surprised me massively i think that there's a team that impressed me so far in the month of august it's been tottenham they have honestly defied my expectations because we all knew coming into the season that Kane was going to leave and Kane eventually did leave for Bayern Munich and the fact that Tottenham have actually played really well without Kane is incredible and they also beat Manchester United which is a team that they ne weren't even expected to beat especially given at the at home given how dominant United were in the first half at Tottenham managed to defeat United giving themselves a huge three points you know and so Tottenham is definitely going to be the contention to qualify for European competitions. Now, do I think they have what it takes to qualify for the Champions League? I think that's a bridge too far. I don't think they have what it takes. Uh, but they're going to come close. They're going to fall. They're, I think for me, the max I could see is probably fifth. I don't see them finishing higher than fifth. Liverpool, for me, are looking great. Liverpool, they have that kind of attitude where they're going to fight to the very end. And that's what you have to give Jurgen Klopp massive credit. Because you can tell this Liverpool team isn't as good as the previous Liverpool teams. And what makes this Liverpool team incredible is the fact they were able to win against Newcastle while being a man down and they having to score two goals in the last 10 minutes or so. Like, it's incredible. Dor Nunez is showing up, guys. And I think for Liverpool, man, they're looking great. My only concern is that defensively, these guys look very vulnerable, you know, as some players supposedly are not in their prime anymore, like the likes of Van Dijk, Kanate, well, maybe not Kanate, Matip, you know, Allison. You know, etc. And obviously Trent as well being a lot defensively liable. Arsenal, of course, have been fantastic. They have been great so far. Even though they have been good as the Premier League table is showing, they haven't been as good as the results have shown. Because the first game, okay, they beat Narnia Forest. Okay, that's expected. But then they struggled to beat Crystal Palace. Then they had to uh, they had to you get a penalty. And Crystal Palace, some would say they were even robbed a penalty. Crystal Palace should have had a penalty. And, you know, and I just, and obviously we know what happened against Fulham. They honestly um, didn't really play that well against Fulham, you know, required a penalty. And obviously they were, and they were even down at 10 minutes. So it's kind of sad for Arsenal to drop points in a home game. And I just think for Arsenal, man, they're going to do well, but I don't think they'll do as well as they did last season. Because I feel like for me, there's a lot of issues with the team. I think McArteta needs to, doesn't know his best lineup. You know, the like, he's still playing the likes of, you know, Thomas Partey right back, which doesn't make sense. You know, why are you playing Kai Havertz as center mid when the guy has been absolutely abysmal, you know, etc. And yeah, Brighton for me, they had a rough start, but I think they're going to still do well. You know, obviously that, um, well, not rough start. They had a rough loss against West Ham, but, you know, I think it was just a blimp, so I think they should be fine. Aston Villa, of course, we know how good they have been, um, obviously getting the, picking up those important wins. But like I said, though, how are they going to bat battle, how are they going to balance out with the conference league? Is that going to be a prior, is that how, how are they going to balance it out, you know? Manchester United have looked really ab shockingly abysmal. Like, maybe abysmal is a bit harsh, but they have been underwhelming. I think Manchester United have been so underwhelming because they've scraped why scraped wins against West Ham. Sorry, not West Ham. Wolves. And they scraped wins against um, Nottingham Forest, you know. And then they lost to Spurs. 
I, I got to say this right now, man. Mason Mount is looking so bad. I don't understand why United signed him. And if you guys don't believe me, I said this guy wouldn't be a good signing for United. And it's looking like I'm going to be correct. But then again, though, it is very early in the season, so he can still rectify his form. Brentford, of course, we know how good they have been doing. Chelsea, they've been playing well, but they just got to be more clinical the final third. Crystal Palace, enough said. Mid-table club, Fulham, mid-table. Newcastle have been decent. Um, Although, that like I said, though, that loss to Liverpool at home was kind of sad. And obviously, they lost very narrowly to Man City. So, they got the rough fixture so far. But, you know, they've got that massive win in the opening match. They're not in force. Not looking too good. Wolves getting that crucial win against Everton's a big, big win away. Bournemouth not looking the best. Sheffield United not looking great. Burnley, ugh, it, it's it, it's been a rough start, but I think they can rectify. And the Luton Town not looking the best. And then obviously Everton, uh, it's hopeless for them. They haven't even scored a single goal. Moving on to La Liga, guys. La Liga, La Liga, guys. So for La Liga, guys, my major takeaways is that Jude Bellingham is unbelievable. Jude Bellingham has been instrumental to, he's been incredibly important for Real Madrid, you know, and when Real Madrid's been struggling this season, he's always come up clutch with those goals, and I look at the winner he scored against Celta Vigo away, in the match that was pretty controversial, you know, Celta Vigo were disallowed some goal. Celta Vigo were disallowed a goal there, and then a penalty was missed, like, it was a very crazy end-to-end -end game, Atletico Madrid looking great, you know, and we have to have a conversation at Joao Felix, because man, Atletico Madrid looks so good without Joao Felix, they just smashed Wild Volcano 7-0. Wild Volcano is actually a decent team. And the fact that they destroyed them 7-0 is quite incredible. Girona is performing very well. Shout out to them. They're, I think they're going to get European football this season. Possibly may even get Champions League, which will be a huge statement. Barcelona, we've been looking good. Although, I do feel like for Barca, our attack has not really been great. Lewandowski, there's a lot of questions to be asked about his form. And Yamal, man, what a performance he had against um, Villarreal. Fantastic game from him. Athletic Club, they're doing well, as you expect. Valencia is surprisingly doing pretty well. Osasuna doing well. Raya Valcano doing well as well. Uh, Real Betis, it's, it's not the best, but not the worst. Cadiz is definitely doing decent. Getafe, um, you know, they're doing well. Real System are kind of struggling. You know, haven't picked up a win yet. Villarreal, you know. They've been struggling as well. Alaves not looking the best. Granada not looking the best. Las Palmas have definitely surprised me. They have definitely looked great. I'm shout out to them, man. Mallorca, not that great. And then obviously Celta Vigo not looking great. Almeria not looking great. And Sevilla, man. They got these guys looking terrible. Like I picked Sevilla to get top four. These guys looking abysmal, man. Abysmal. Defensively, these guys look shocking. They sold a lot of key players like Bono, Acuna. Sorry, not Acuna. I think Montiel they sold. To Nottingham Forest. And yeah, I just think for Sevilla, man. They got to get their act together because this kind of form is going to be like last season. They're going to be battling relegation. And um, who knows? They might win another Europa League while they're in there. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, um, for yeah, for La Liga, man, there's not really much to be said. All right. Moving on to Syria, guys. Syria. Guys, we I, I think it's fair to say that Christian Pulisic has been game-changing for Milan. The guy scored in back-to-back -back games. I don't remember the last time Pulisic scored a back-to-back -back game. It's been such a long time. The guy is looking amazing. Shout-out to him, man. Shout-out to him. Milan is looking amazing. They're top of the league. Fantastic. Napoli looking great. Inter's looking great. Verona, man. Shout-out to them. They've definitely surprised me. I've not been, I didn't expect them to do this well. Fiorentina doing decent. Juventus, man, kind of underwhelming. They shouldn't. They, I think they tied at home to Bologna, which is a team they shouldn't really be tying at home against. Lecce doing decent. Adelante, you know, good first win, but man, that second day, day they lost a frozen. Uh, they lost the newly promoted team, Frois Noi. Mons doing decent. Genoa doing decent. Frozen Noi doing decent as well. Sarantinia. Roma's been looking abysmal. They haven't looked great so far. They lost to a 10 men team, I believe. Um, I believe they lost to Verona. Um, they haven't been looking great. Bologna, you know, you know, Cagliari, Torino, Udinese, Lazio is not looking great. They haven't won any games. Empoli not looking so great in Swasolo. So Swasolo, man, this is kind of unexpected for them to be the bottom. So, yeah, it's, it's very early days, though, but, you know, um, just nonetheless, quick updates there. Moving on to the Bundesliga, man. Bundesliga, man. Harry Kane. Harry Kane, man. He is firing all cylinders, guys. I think Bayern have finally found their striker. The guy is incredible in front of goal. And Bayern, man, they just look incredible, man. I I dare Kane to not win a trophy with Bayern this season. You have to win the Bundesliga. If you don't win the Bundesliga, Kane, you are... There might be a curse. 
you know. Union Berlin, man, shout out to them. They have been fantastic. Obviously, they got a huge, huge win on the road, I believe. And they're even down to 10 men as well, I believe, which is kind of incredible. Then, obviously, Leverkusen have been amazing as well. Xabi Lanz is doing it. Wolfsburg looking great. Freiburg looking great. Dortmund, man, not looking the best. You know, they hide at home to Bochum. Kind of embarrassing. Um, they shouldn't have done that. Frankfurt, you know, enough said. Uh, Leipzig looking decent as well. Stuttgart, Hoffenheim, Augsburg, Gladbach, Mainz, Bochum, Coin, Heidman, man. I was so disappointed. They were leading 1-0 against Hoffenheim, and unfortunately, they blew it. They lost at home. That's a big, big loss. Hopefully, they can survive. Darmst, uh, looking, not looking the best, and obviously, Warder Bremen looking really, really bad. They haven't even scored a single goal. So, yeah, for the Bundesliga, man, Bayern is going to run away with this. And Dortmund already started the, the bottling thing already, so... And now for League On, man. League On. Let's talk about League On, man. League On. So for League On, man, um, it's looking great. Monaco is looking fantastic. And they just signed Florian Balogun. And that's an incredible signing they made. And it's going to be great for the strikers. Guys, Monaco, in my opinion, have the best chance to stop PSG in this league. Even though I predicted them to come third, I think they're going to they're gonna do well. Because of the fact there's no European football, they can put all their eggs in a league basket. And for PSG, man... It's not looking the best for them. They have been kind of somewhat underwhelming. And they just picked up the first win against Lons. Marseille have been looking great as well. Although I don't really trust this team. Um, they're, you know, Reims have been amazing as well. Shout out to them. Brest being amazing. They're overperforming. Strasbourg, you know, overperforming as well. Rennes, not looking the best. But it's not the worst. Um, Lorient, definitely surprising. PSG have been underwhelming. Montpellier, not been looking the... It's been decent. Lille has been looking good. Talese, been decent. Mets looking the good. Nice is kind of underwhelming. La Havre is not looking the great. Lens not looking the best. Lons, Nantes, not looking the best. And Leon, Leon has been so underwhelming. And Clement Foot as well. So yeah, for um for this league, man, it's gonna be interesting to see how everything pans out. So I hope you guys did enjoy this um, recap. You know, this was kind of a concise recap. You know, let me know if I missed any major talking points for each of the top five leagues. I'll be looking through your comments, guys, and of course trying to reply. Uh, harding them and you know interacting with the comment any shape or form you know replying harding you know do all that good stuff guys and of course make sure you guys check out me my other pops in the description below and yeah make sure you guys consider becoming a member of the channel to get access to members videos and member streams and yeah guys like and subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys later man peace out